All right, guys. So I got a video here for you that uh, might interest you, might not. Um, this is kind of for the the AK enthusiast. Um, maybe you have an AK variant, and uh, it's going to be a low budget home defense gun. Um, I'm going to give you a little tip on what I'm going to do. Uh, I already did it, but I'm going to. I wasn't going to make a video on this, but I'm going to make it now. Just want to show you um, what I'm talking about. And uh, if you're like me, you have guns, you want to use them for home defense, even a 22. Like, seriously, I'll uh, use my uh, son's Ruger 1022 with the BX25 magazine for home defense. And what I'm trying to get at at this video is um, I want to use this gun here for home defense. Um, I've been using it the past couple nights, but it really bothers me that I don't have a light on this gun. And I want to be able to, to mount the light, you know, somewhere on this gun. And, um, but I don't want to spend a lot of money to buy a rail. Uh, I don't want to go out and spend $70, $80, $100 and something dollars on a rail as of right now. You know, maybe later I'll get a rail. But right now I want to do this on a budget. And this is maybe you have spare parts at home. Like me, I always try to keep parts like these are from rifles uh, that I've had in the past from a SIG 556R um, that I just keep parts like this I have a bunch of uh, little Picatinny rails all over the place um, and I just want to be able to mount something on the rifle okay but what I don't want to do is fuck up this wood because I love the way this AK looks I love the way the wood looks on there. Um, this is a very nice wood. Actually, doesn't even get that hot. Um, I like this wood a lot, so I don't want to damage it. What I'm getting at is spare parts. Again, uh, I keep a lot of spare parts. Um, this is uh, from one of my AK uh, that I had in the past, the Walser 10. Um, I kind of refinished it a little bit, kind of cheapy. But so I got that. I have the the top handguard that I painted black spray paint not too good uh, just wanted to try it out and see what it did you know so I could easily swap that out do some customization to it if I wanted to and then I have this here that you've seen in the past um, this is the the bottom handguard so I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I did I'm gonna install it on the rifle and show you how I'm gonna have this gun set up for home defense um, but with the light on it so let me get back to you on that Another thing too guys, I want to disassemble this gun and I want to show you um, for some of those people who have a hard time dis disassembling their AKs, um, I want to show you what you can do to disassemble this gun without using any tools uh, whatsoever um, in case your AK is one of those hard AKs and, and I'll get to you, I'll get to that in a second, what I mean by hard, um, dust cover off, recoil spring and Pull out the, the whole assembly up, take the safety off first, dumbass. Pull everything out, you know, take the guts out, right? So now you want to take um, the tube off. Sometimes these are really hard. This one's really simple. I mean, it, it's it's easy. But on my Sega, it's, it's pretty hard. So I'm going to show you what you can use, um, you know, to keep it simple and without using any pliers or anything you can you can do this out on the field you get your recoil spring and you use the back part of it the bottom the bottom the bottom back you put it on there um, and it forms like a key it actually it fits in there perfect and you could just pry it up and, and, it, and it works you know this one's soft and stuff but you know it is what it is um, I already took this key off here, so this one's a little tight. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to be gentle with it because I don't wanna I don't wanna fuck up this wood. I actually I like it a lot. So I'm gonna probably configure this back, you know, to original spec, however it was. But I wanna be I wanna be careful with it. You know, I'm gonna pry here just a little gently. You just don't wanna do it too much because you'll fuck up the wood, the corners. So you gotta kind of go evenly. And then it's really hard. 
this one's a tight fitting wood. Uh, it's, it's real tight. But like I said, I don't I don't wanna fuck it up. I wanna keep it cherry. Take off the cleaning rod and then off off she comes. So there you have it disassembled. You don't need any tools. Uh, if you have a hard um, gas gas block, gas uh, gas tube uh, lock. If if uh, if it's hard, you can use that tool like I showed you. So, all right, I went ahead and uh, I already did this off camera. But basically, what I did was I added on a little Picatinny rail that I had laying around. And this uh, works really well, so I'm gonna, I'll be able to attach a, a flashlight on there to it if I could do it on camera. So you know, basically, it doesn't look pretty, but it saved me uh, sixty to one hundred and fifty dollars, what a good quality rail would cost. So let's get let's get it on the rifle. This one was a little tight too, but since I don't care too much about it. Um, I went ahead and filed it off right here a little bit, took the file off there, took the file to there, and off the side. And it still fits a little tight, so that's, that's still a good thing. I don't want it to be too loose. Um, basically what I did, like, let me get to the, what I did real quick. I took a screw, drilled through it, and it has a little hex nut there. Let's see if you can see that. Where you at? So yeah, basically just has a hex nut in there. And it's probably too much light. You can see it kind of. And then over here it has a screw. Well, the screw was a little too long, so I filed it down with a file. Obviously, took a file to it and took that screw down just a little bit because it was it was too long. Uh, I couldn't get one of these hex screws in here. Uh, this screw was a. Uh, there's a little bit more room in here. I could have filed down in here a little bit, but for what I'm trying to use this for, it works. And basically, you see the, yeah, you can see it. It's early in the morning, guys. I'm not working today. I haven't been making videos, but I just said it. I wanted to make one today on this. And I wasn't going to. <clears throat> okay, there we go. That's tight. Get everything back in line. This one fits really soft, and I'm gonna keep the. I can change the the gas tube cover, but I don't want to mess with it because I'm keeping it this way. So I'll put that back in there. Like I said, look if if you had a hard one of these, put it down, and then you get it backwards, and stick it in there, and go down with it till it locks. Put everything back together. This is the dust cover that came off my Sega. Remember I told you I switched that around. So that works. Let's get the cleaning rod back in there. This cleaning rod fits a little tight too, so I like everything. Everything's tight on this gun still. It's still kind of in the new phase. Uh, well, yeah, it's it's a tight AK. Function works. And uh, there you go. Let me bring you over here. There you have it. Doesn't look too pretty, but I like the, the off look. <laughs> it's got it's got several different looks in it. Um, the wood is not the same. I know I, I could paint it. I could sand it down and stain it or paint it black, whatever I wanted to. But for me, it's more of a function kind of deal. I don't I don't care what it looks like. You know, I want to have a light on my gun, and I do now, so. So, yeah, there you go. Now you have a, a light for home defense. You know, you can reach over with your offhand and turn the light on. You want to be able to identify your threat. But, yeah, quick little mod. Uh, Tim, long as video. Alright, guys. Uh, I'm still I'm still here. Be kind of lazy to make videos, but you know here's here's one for you. Enjoy it.
Uh, thanks to everybody, all the new subs, I really appreciate it. Uh, Google Plus is kind of a little fuck deal, but uh, I'll get the hang of it. Alright guys, you yeah, have a good one.